If the fans on your Audi TT are not kicking in, there's a few things that could cause it. I'm gonna cover off a few of the basic checks on this, see if we can uncover what's causing the problem on this specifically. Um, you may have the same problem, your problem might be different, but hopefully going through this basic uh, fault finding should give you an idea of how the system works and what to check on yours. So under here, got a fuse here. This one controls the relay for the high speed and this one here is for the low speed fans. Now both your fuses are fine. So this one looks okay. And if the contacts inside there are good, which they look to be, and if this one doesn't look like it's melted, then we move on to the next step. So if we're testing the low speed fans, this can be done with the ignition off. But because we want to test the high speed fans as well, we need the ignition on to be sending power through that control relay. So we're going to need the car up in the air. Now, whether that's on a ramp like this, uh, sorry to all the haters out there that always seem to, you know, hate on me and say that, oh yeah, of course you can do that because you've got it on a ramp, it's nice and easy. Well, I do this on the floor all the time, but I've got a ramp, so I'm going to use it, okay? Anyway, so up here, that thing there, that's your thermal switch. So on the radiator, that is a two stage switch. So first stage is what, about 95, 97 degrees or something like that. That should kick your low speed fan in. And then like over 100 degrees, maybe 102, 103, something like that, your high speed fan should kick in. Now we can expect a little bit of variance on that um, as the, the switches get old. But one way to check that when they've, if the switch is working, um, if that signal is then doing what it needs to do to the fans, is to just short the pins out. I've taken the plug off, and on these pins here, we've got a solid red wire coming in, and that is the 12 volt supply. Uh, and then this one here is your high speed, this is your low speed. So if we bridge across here and here, we should get both fans kicking at high speed. Bridge across here and here, we should get both fans kicking in at low speed. Let's try that. That's the high speed. And you can actually hear the relay clicking over inside there. And then this is the low speed. You can hear that it's not relay controlled. Go back to the high speed. And you can hear that relay kicking in. So we know on this one that if this switch works and bridges between these, that the relay will do what it needs to do and will trigger the fans. So on this one, what that tells me is when my low speed fans are not kicking in uh, and the car is getting to over 100 degrees, it's the thermal switch itself that's at fault. So I can stop my diagnosis there and I can change that thermal switch. So in summary, what we know, the thermal switch on this car is clearly not bridging those connectors there uh, and so the fans are not coming on. Um, if the fans were still not coming on when you tested this, um, what you'd have to check is the wires that go onto the fan directly uh, here, those ones there, unplug those uh, and then once you've bridged those uh, pins out from the thermal switch then you would um, test for voltage across the wires that are going onto the fans. So if once you bridge those pins, you do get voltage at the fans, then, uh, but the fans are not kicking in, you know the fans are at fault. If once you bridge across those pins, you're not getting voltage at the fans, then you know it's the relay itself that's at fault. So dead simple to test, just flick it to direct current uh, and be looking for 12 to 14 volts on your multimeter there. Um, yeah, so to Without trying to oversimplify the system, it is pretty simple. Thermal switch uh, for low speed fans will just kick in and just trigger the fans. Uh, thermal switch for high speed goes through the relay. The other thing that the relay controls is putting the low speed fans on if the aircon is on. So just bear that in mind. If your low speed fans are coming on with the aircon on, then you could still have a fault with the thermal switch. Um, yeah, if they don't trigger when the aircon is not on. So yeah, uh, and then a little hack for you. Yeah, if it is overheating, try making sure the aircon's on because that could override a, a bad thermal switch and it could just trigger the fans to come on for you. 
Anyway, yeah, so I hope that's been useful for you. Hope I've not oversimplified it. Hope I've not overcomplicated it. Um, yeah, comment down below if this has been useful for you, if you've got other ways of doing this, if you've got other useful hints and tips on this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers, guys.